Have you ever dreamed of turning your passion into your profession? Well, in the past, this may have seemed a little bit like an impossible dream, but with the rise of the creator economy, it's very much becoming a reality for more and more people. As Adobe's VP of Marketing, Simon Morris, puts it, the growth in the number of creators in the UK and globally is exponential demonstrating the creative empowerment people now feel to follow their ambitions and express themselves freely online. But what is this creator economy thing? Well, from YouTube creators to freelance designers and writers, the creator economy is truly empowering individuals to take control of their own careers and build their own businesses whether it's full-time or part-time. In this video, we're gonna take a closer look together at the creator economy and how it's changing the way we work and do business. We'll also look at the trends and opportunities that are shaping the future of work in this digital age. The creator economy refers to the business model and industry that revolves around creating content and generating revenue. And they can very much go together. Now, creators are using platforms like YouTube, TikTok, Twitch, Twitter to share their visual, audio, or text creations with their audience. They're then using a variety of monetization options to generate income for themselves. And these can include things like advertising, sponsorships, merchandise, subscriptions, pay community etc. Check out the pop-up banner above to check out a video that I did with all of the different income streams. And many creators are actually able to make a living solely through their online presence and the revenue generated by their own content. I know someone personally myself who was in a very successful banking job in the city of London doing very well, earning pretty good, who basically quit that job because the revenue generated from their content was doing so well that it was doing so good that they could quit that job. And just to give a bit of a perspective on how impactful the creator economy has been in recent years, according to Oxford Economics, a pretty trusted source, YouTube's creative ecosystem contributed more than 1.4 billion pounds to the UK's GDP and supported more than 40,000 full-time equivalent jobs in 2021. That is just in the UK. That, in my opinion, is just wild. So look, no one's questioning that the creator economy has grown significantly in recent years. And the rise of social media and the importance of online content has been a massive, massive driving force for that. It's also a direct result in habit changes that many of us as a general population have been doing. Where there is a growing trend of media consumption across all the different age groups, which in turn has enabled creators to reach larger audiences and monetize their content, even if they're aiming at, say, 16, 17 years old or 60 to 70 years old. It's giving people much more freedom and flexibility when it comes to how they make a living by getting them different options beyond just a nine to five job. And there's many studies that back this up. A study by Adobe called The Future of Creativity found that a huge growing percentage of our leading workforce are part of this creator economy. Millennials make up 42% of creators, with the average age being about 40, while Gen Z makes up 14% of creators globally. Currently, millennials are still dominating this, but let me tell you, the wave of Gen Z is a coming. And although the creator economy is disrupting the traditional model of working and businesses and even marketing campaigns as we know it, becoming a creator is really not an easy task. Being patient and consistent is truly a core part of the game. And according to one of the top influencers in the Middle East, journalist Uptin Saadi, he said, to get into this, you really have to love what you do. The first year or two, you won't even make much money. It really takes time to build momentum. And honestly, I couldn't agree more. Like this YouTube channel, this kind of like mock studio, it all has a cost. The camera, the microphone, the lighting, you know, the kind of like set and things in, in my house. You know, all these things, like this plant cost me like 20 quid, you know? Surprisingly expensive. What a no, It all comes with some kind of investment, confidence in yourself, trust that actually what you're doing is going to actually turn into something and sacrifice to make it happen. I could spend my time trying to be like a professional tennis player, but I have decided that I wanna spend my time in evenings and weekends and when I'm on holiday or whatever, making content and sharing my thoughts about the creator economy on YouTube. So it might seem as simple as, let me just start doing this and creating content and as long as I upload it everywhere, Weekly, I'll be fine. 
I'm gonna make money. But trust me, it's a lot more comprehensive than that. I like to call it the business of creators. And I think it is so, so fascinating. And while content creation remains a side hustle for most, six out of 10 creators have full-time jobs in addition to content creating, it can be very lucrative. More than half, 51% of influencers are earning in the top income brackets, making as much as lawyers or people who are working in finance or those banking jobs that I mentioned. These creators regard their channels, podcasts, and profiles as a whole business. That's what I think is the most interesting part. Creators that see the content that they're putting out, their personal profile, their channels, their podcast as a kind of whole business of parts that they're using to generate a level of like financial freedom or independence or hiring people and creating jobs in the economy. All of that kind of stuff I think is so, so interesting. And with more than 50 million independent content creators, curators, and community builders fueling globally, this generation of micro entrepreneurs is currently valued, currently at over $104 billion and is increasing every single day. And many of these creators are successful in business. They're thoughtful about what, how, and why they're doing certain things. They're planning, strategizing, executing, monitoring, analyzing, and doing various other things that most other business owners of conventional businesses are also doing. Many creators are proper entrepreneurs and business owners, even if they might not necessarily realize it. And aside from the need to create or to connect or achieve a sense of popularity or reach, 47% of influencers are seeing creating social content as more important for their mental health than like exercising or music or going outside in nature. That's fascinating. And of course, like any new growing and thriving industry, the creator economy is not without its controversy. There's issues such as copyright infringement and the exploitation of creators. There's also like harassment of creators because they're in such a public forum and people are like harassing them or you know going after them because they're so open with what they're doing, they're a little bit more exposed to people just being nasty. Now something that's also been shifting within the creator economy according to Forbes is that there's been a big shift from a former market environment of asymmetric information where brands used to possess more power and they had the siloed knowledge of how much or how little creators were willing to accept for endorsements and ultimately they were trying to, you know, maybe push down the amount that they pay creators. Well, creators have become a lot more transparent around the rates that they deserve by tackling the transparent issue and sharing how much they earn through their own channels, which has laid some of the groundwork for more of a standardization in pay across the creator economy. And at the same time, we've got sites like FYPM and Fishbowl that are empowering creators to pull information together and share their experiences of working with specific brands, along with tips on how to negotiate contracts and help brands assess their reach. But despite these challenges, the creator economy continues to thrive. And even with a global recession around the corner, it's not going anywhere. It provides a unique avenue for creators to showcase their talents and make a living doing what they love. If you're keen to start creating, do it. What's stopping you? There's so many friends of mine who are creators who doubted their potential at the start, but ultimately they've never looked back since starting their ventures. And as technology continues to evolve, I'm expecting to see more and more people to realize the potential of this business model and be very very excited to see what else comes out of it and if you want to be part of this rising tide within the creator economy what's stopping you it doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't have to be professional it can just be whatever kind of thing that you enjoy whether it's gaming whether it's gardening whether it's cooking film that content put it online share it for the world to see and who knows that in two three four years down the line what opportunities may come from it that's it for this video check out this one here as one to watch next let me know in the comments down below if you've got any questions about getting started or anything related to the creator economy very happy to jump in and respond to as many of you as i can awesome thanks so much for watching see you in the very next video subscribe if you're not already bye bye